Thank you. You're in with Derek Handboss. A little more experience, a little more. But you went in there, you controlled everything. Is is that the fight as you expected it, or were you expecting a little more, perhaps, a, a, to have to do a little more work? No, I, I mean, you know, in terms of work, every day I, I take myself to extreme. So I was ready to hard work. And in terms of, of game plan and fight itself, we knew it's kind of style, like it's kind of scrap, overhand strike. So me and my, and my striking coach, we, uh, we trade, we did a perfect strategy for this camp. And straight away, I, 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 I read this time, you know, like some events, and after I, I read this time, I just went for it. I remember watching yourself in a cage. I guess it was about a year, two years ago. Uh, my last fight was uh, March last year. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then coming to a stage like this, beating somebody of that stature, is a dream come true. So, let's see, like, like this. For me, as Peter, it is a dream come true. Like, since I, I was a little kid, I dream with this moment. You know, big stage, one of the best in the world, go up there and before. As Peter survived the fight, it was another challenge. You know, it is not time for celebrating. I didn't accomplish nothing. I just did one, one more step in my career. That's it. I'm not a champion. I'm still a contender. So there's no time for celebrating. There's time for go back to the gym and work hard and hard and hard. Because I know that sooner or later I'll be on the top of the sport. Sooner or later I will have gold on my legs. You know, I came from, I came from, from, from Portugal. You know, back, back where I am, I didn't have one example of a fighter on the major stage. You know, I didn't have no one to see ah, if he did it, I can do it. But somehow I believe it. You know, thank God, thank me, uh, thank my girlfriend that we did, we decided to go to Ireland, to the best team in the world, train to the best in the world. And here I am, you know, three, needed three years with, with SMG to the world where I've been saying I am the best in the world. Believe it or not, I don't care because sooner or later I will prove it. Pedro, first of all, congratulations on your beautiful performance. Do you think that the referee stopped the fight a little bit too late? He, yes, yes. He, he was he, uh, Before he, 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 took, he took me to the ground, he was already hurt you know, because I could see he couldn't fake you know, the, the pain. And even when he was on my back, and I was okay, he's taking time to, to rest. But he was on my back and, I, and he was still, <laughs> you could see it all his breathing that it was still hurting. And uh, I took my time because I'm, I, I'm really good with someone on my back. I knew that sooner or later I would take him out. I took him out and straight away I went to the body. But I didn't want to, to, to look too obvious, you know, because he could grab my leg and scramble all over again. So I just used all the, the perfect angle that me and my striking coach he working all this time, and once I saw I saw the opening, I, I kicked him, and that was it. And that the fight was over straight away there. And that shot on the ground, like I didn't want to, to deliver, but it's my job, you know. Thank you for playing a lot in the last day for me. Uh, do you think what what's next? Do you think you could be on another big Bellator European Series card? Yes, I can. You want conserve you want conserves of of e cards. I can fight with any big name, you know, because in my point of view, I'm not trying to be like over my head, but I'm, 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 I'm a pure realistic person. And for what I see, there's no one, 145, 155 that I see, like, oh, nothing. They, for, in my point of view, they are all one dimensional fighters. That's it, you know. There are great fighters out there, they are. But I can beat them all. I can beat them all, and I don't, and I will prove it. You know, sooner or later, I just have to have the opportunities. You know, they can run away. They can pick their own their, their own their own opponents. You know, stylistically, and then say, "Oh, look at me! I'm the great." No, 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 no. You know, but sooner or later, I'll beat them all. Sooner or later, I will have all the wrong ones. Yeah, Pedro Bellator returning to Ireland in September. Is that a card that you're targeting? Your return Dublin. Mm. So yeah, like fighting in Dublin is it, it, like a, a little dream come true to yeah. me, you know, because 
back when I, when, I, when, I, when I was fighting still in Portugal, I never was able to have a chance to fight in my own town, you know? It was always far away. So Dublin is my home, you know? Ireland and Dublin is my home. So fighting in my hometown will be, will be just great, you know, because since I came to Ireland, I was received, treated, and supported as an Irishman, you know? And I hold everything to that people, you know. I, from the bottom of my heart, I love Ireland. Ireland, Ireland is my country, you know. So if I, if I can get a chance in the future to perform to all that people and represent them, there will be absolutely honor. With um, Belso's European expansion as well, speaking of dreams, would another dream also to be yeah. part of the process of maybe bringing a car to Portugal as well? Oh yes, I will make history. We see in the making. Just time by time, you know, I don't want to think too much about it, you know. Let's make step by step, but soon I will make history happen. Not, 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 never before of a major show being held in Portugal or even Spain, you know. So I, 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 I've been thinking about it, but not thinking too much, but for sure it will happen. Uh, Pedro, uh, you came over with the SPG guys, uh, six guys from SPG came over. What's it like being as that part of that collective uh, and you know being part of that team? Uh, uh, how I feel in uh, the, the, the B group? Yeah. Ah, it was, was, was great. It was just great because like, it, it, a fight is a fight, so fighting for me is always great. But having the amount of teammates uh, around me and we all support each other was was just an amazing experience you know especially on fight week I, I i feel like this every time i go me and some teammates go i, I feel that as we go toward we, we create like a, a special bond a stronger <coughs> bond you know because we both go toward representing the same team the same nation so it was great to to come with, with, with these five words you know and it was absolutely Pedro, has anyone commented on your, not just your style in the fighting arena, but also your style out of it? It's a great shirt you're wearing tonight. <laughs> Sorry? <laughs> I said, has anyone commented yet on not just a great style in the fighting arena, but also out of it? It's a, oh, great, yes. it's a great shirt you're wearing tonight. Thank you, sir. <laughs> Thank you. I, 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 was, I was going on the shelf, you know, I saw, I saw the dress, I was like, you know what? This is the most important fight of my career. I will win this fight. So if I will win, I have to look great. You look fantastic. And here I am. <laughs> win and look great. You look as fantastic as Thank the performance. Sir. I've spoken to the matchmakers at Bellator already, um, and they, they are, I've, I asked the question, this guy needs to be in the featherweight tournament, surely now. And they, they all, there's three of them I spoke to, and they all said yes, they're very senior figures at Bellator. How does that make you feel? They make me feel great. They make me feel great and deserve their feel, that's it, like, like, uh, like I said to Michael, when I was 13 years old, I made a decision, I want to be the best in the world, so I gave up to be a normal kid, you know, go out, be with friends, and do normal things, to gradually go week after week, daily basis, training, training, I even in these classes and exams just to go to training, you know, this is my life, I sacrifice all my life, and people don't even imagine the things that I mean, I have been open to example. I have now a nine month boy, you know, and it's been so hard, you know, because I'm in Ireland, he's back in Portugal. And it's been hard, but at the same, at the same time, I'm, I'm in a different state of mind. You know, I'm in the killer mode because I have, to, I have to bring my kids back to me. So it's been the toughest, the toughest challenge so far, but at the, at the same time, the most. Sure. Four fights in the tournament would give you the, well, you could win the belt along the way, but it would also net you a million dollars as well. Does money mean something to you because you're having your own? No, I mean, of course, like any fighter that says that money doesn't matter is lying. We need to pay bills. And um, I said to myself, like, I, I came from poor backgrounds, so I want to put my family, you know, I want to. to, to come to my mother, my, my two moms, my, my aunt and my mother, they raised me. So I want to come to them and offer them a life that they never had. You know, I ought to offer my kids a life that they never had. So with this being said, when my name be announced in, in, in the tournament, you can 
right on the way that in one year time I'm, I have one kid in my account and I have a better phone that on my list. You're 23 years old. Yes. You're fighting at an incredibly high level, but just how much more is there for you to give? Like, what? Where are you working at right now? 60 percent of your potential? 70? How much better can you get? I'm only getting started. <laughs> I'm only getting started. Like, like, like you said, I'm only 23 years old, and I'm, I, and I don't hesitate in put myself fighting against the best in the world. Derek Campos. He not only is a super dangerous fighter, he is one of the best in the world. He fought, he fought with the very best, and I didn't even take one bit to take the fight with him. You know, I, I, I don't take nothing from anyone, but you see guys that break themselves or be that the highest prospects of the sport, but who they are fighting, you know. So I'm fighting with the best, and I'm only 23. So this is only this is only a, a little sign of the hard work on like I can tell you no one wants this more than me and no one works more than me you know I'm my worst enemy you know I do things to myself that I'm just man, I hate myself you know but it is what it is it's, it, for me there's no go easy or go hard there's the wrong way to train and the right way to train that's it and here I am uh, Pedro, I've seen a recent interview from you, you were talking about how proud you were to be one of the first Portuguese, or the first Portuguese better tour fighter. So possibly with that tournament, what would it mean to you to possibly become the first ever Portuguese champion? Yeah, possibly. <laughs> exactly. You know? No, it, 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 means, it, mean, it means a lot, you know, because having these kind of opportunities indirectly, I'm, I'm out in my own country. I'm out in the sport in my own country. I'm, 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 I'm indirectly built something in my country that I never had in my time. You know, so it, it, it gives me a really joy and a happy feeling that I know that as I keep reading, as I keep growing, as my name keeps getting bigger, I know that I'm slowly building something. And I know that I, in the future I will give opportunities that I never had in my time, you know. So it gives me great, great, great joy to know that somehow I'm out in my country, the sport in my country. Your confidence there reminds me of perhaps a teammate of yours who, who's fighting <laughs> elsewhere. I think, my, I think the question though is that confidence that SBGs top fighters tend to, is that something that's bred within the camp or did you bring that to the camp? Because it seems to me all of those top fighters from that gym have so much self-belief. Sir, that has to be because we have the best team in the world. That's it. We have the best team in the world because we have the best fighters in the world, the best coaches in the world, the best facilities in the world. Now, coming in August, you know? So, that's it. We are just the best team in the world and you go out there and we make it up. That's it. Sir. Thanks very much. Thank you, sir. Congratulations.